you know it's about to go down when we're on the top of the parking garage because all the magic happens on top of the parking garage. We can talk about things all day long, whatever. Sorry, 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 sorry. I knew that. Hey everyone, <laughs> it's about to get real here. Stick around because we're talking about some intense stuff. <laughs> Just kidding, we're talking about some good I stuff here though. No, but today we're talking all about what to expect going to the University of Tampa. Okay, Kat. <laughs> is that too delayed? So I know a big question people are probably wondering is, does UT have fraternities and sororities? They do. Oh, by the way, this is Kat. I'm Jared. If we haven't met, welcome to the party. We're glad you're here. But yes, UT does have fraternity and sorority life. They got a ton of them actually, right? I don't know the exact number off the top of my head, but a lot. Yeah, Kat was in... Kappa Alpha Theta. Kappa Alpha Theta. Okay, so it's a great opportunity for you to meet a bunch of new people, network, and a great community. Oh yeah. We at UT do not have houses on campus, which is, I guess, a good and a bad thing. A good thing because for people who don't really want to do a sorority fraternity life, they can just have the freedom of being able to walk around campus without all the houses. I don't know. But also bad because then those sororities and fraternities can't really live together necessarily, but they do try to find off-campus housing all to live together. I'm holding it. Yeah. Okay. Look at me. I'm a vlogger. <laughs> Okay, but guys, another benefit of not having housing on campus, and I know this because I was in a sorority, it allows you to make friends with other students on campus. So you're not just friends with your sorority sisters or your fraternity brothers or whoever. And also, stay till the end because we're going to talk more about the people and the campus life here at UT. Kat told me she really wanted to do this, so... <laughs> Okay, you guys also have the opportunity or the chance to roll out of bed seven minutes, technically seven minutes before class starts, because it's only seven minutes from one end of campus to the other. Campus isn't super huge. It's about like maybe 10 minutes, well, maybe five minutes between the whole entire side, which is great because you do have the flexibility to walk from one end to the other easily. Especially if you're in a dorm that is more central. Another thing to expect at UT is that there's lots of resources, whether that's academic resources or campus life and lots of organizations to get involved in. Okay, we gotta go in here. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. No, but yeah, lots of resources academically and just campus life. So career center, academic success center, and lots of other things. Uh, this building is so nice. Class going on in there. This is the career center. Perfect if you need help with finding your career. I don't know. But the best part, these bathrooms are the nicest on campus. If you come here, check out the men's and ladies room in the Southern Family Building. Another thing to expect, and this one is so nice, it's the relaxing views and just beautiful view views in general. Um, I know for me, being able to- I'm the beautiful view. No, but seriously, the walks on campus are so amazing and they definitely help with stress and relieving stress. And if you need to get out, they have a sidewalk right along the river so you can get a nice view of downtown and the surrounding area. It's so nice. So the size of the classes here are actually not super big, which is really nice because then you have the ability to have that personal relationship and get to know your professor and they get to know you. Plus, you got all this room to have fun, play games, do some activities. There are also plenty of major opportunities for your specific course, as well as a lot of unique classes that you can take within your major or area of study. For me, I love movies, I love editing, and they have classes for that and for the majors. So yeah, lots of class opportunities, lots of different classes, a variety of classes you can take, and small class size, which is really nice. And now, housing. This is a big one. A lot of people ask. There are 12, 12? 12 dorms on campus and your first year you will most likely end up with a roommate and a double or a triple depending But the years after you will usually get a single. I'm also going to pay less. Right. For freshmen There are Austin, Vaughn, Morsani, Brevard, Smiley, and McKay and the Bowhouse. So there's seven right there. Lots of options. You don't get to select. Upperclassmen usually get Jenkins, Palm, Straz, or so. I live in Jenkins Hall right now. Howard and Patricia Jenkins Hall and I love it. I think it's my favorite. There's two bathrooms and four rooms. There's a common space. Got a common space, um, but you don't get a kitchen, but that's okay because I just use the dining meal plan on campus. And typically, as you get older and go further along in your UT career, you move off campus and they encourage that because they want you to find an apartment. But if you're strategic and you find underclassmen, like, be like me, I housed on campus for all four years of college. That's right. If you're strategic, you can be in a group with them and you'll most likely get to be able to stay on campus all four years. And in good places. That's true. After your first year, after your freshman year, you do get to pick where you want to live on campus. All right. <sighs> As far as dining and food goes here, I like the food. You know, it's pretty good as long as you change it up a bit, right? A lot of bit. 
a lot of it. UT offers Mexican, uh, Italian. Italian. In the cafeteria, they offer a lot of international things and a lot of options. As long as you switch it up, keep a variety of it, it's pretty good, it's not too bad. Okay, now for the moment you've all been waiting for. The people here at UT, let's talk about them. A lot of the people, including myself, are from the Northeast, New England, as far as I know. UT does have a good international community, but a lot of us are from like Connecticut, New York, New that area. If you wanna meet people from all over, you might not get that. You'll get international people, but maybe not necessarily a lot of people from different parts of the states. More specifically about the people, there's a place for everyone, depending on who you are and like what you're like and your interests and hobbies. There is either a club or an organization or a community on campus that'll meet those needs and you'll find the right people. If you have any questions about UT that we didn't answer in this video, leave them down in the comments below. I'll definitely answer them or I may make a whole video on them. If you wanna see a lot more videos on college, tips for college, check out this playlist that I'm gonna put here. I have what I wish I knew, what I learned, and a nice little day in the life in there. So be sure to check that out. As we always say here, thanks for watching, thanks for joining, and thanks for doing life with all of us here at this channel.